Hi, I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to show you how to make a grilled chicken breast over a wild mushroom saute with an herb spritz. It's a really cool thing that all you people that barbecue need to know how to make. The first thing we want to do is get our grill fired up over here. So we're going to turn that on. Now here's our chicken breast and this is a naturally raised chicken breast and you can see that this is a whole breast that has not been split. So what we want to do is take a little bit of pure olive oil and this is just to help it marinate a little bit. Very simply, we're going to take a good bit of black pepper. I've never been one to shy away from some good black pepper. And then we're going to put some kosher salt on side number one here. And then we're going to flip it over and make sure we've got a good bit of oil on it. That oil is going to help carry the heat onto the grill. So more black pepper and a little more of our kosher salt. You could put anything on this. You could put citrus juice or other herbs and spices, but we're going to go very simple because we've got that really cool herb spritz. Now our grill is good and hot here. So we'll take this entire chicken breast, and this is certainly enough to feed two, maybe three people. So I don't advise you stuffing yourself and eating a whole chicken breast like that. So this would serve, you know, a couple easily. So let's take it and we're going to lay it down right here on our grill. And now you've heard me say it a zillion times, but don't mess around with that. Don't try to flip it and move it. Let it cook on the one side until it starts to crust over. Now let's set this aside. I'm going to keep my tongs right there. And now we want to make this herb spritz. And the idea here is instead of doing a heavy sauce, we're going to put a very fragrant and flavorful liquid on top. And all of you guys out there that do your grilling, if you learn this little technique, people will love your food. And you can make these herb spritzes and put them on steak, fish, chicken, and it's a really great way to do it. So let's get started. We're going to use herbs and lemon juice and a little oil to make this. So the first step, let's take this bowl and we'll set it over here and chop up some herbs. Right out of my garden, I've got some fresh oregano. We'll just peel it back and try to remove these stems, which are sort of inedible. And again, you can use any combination of herbs here that you like. And then this is a big pile of fresh cilantro. I've got some chives here and then some rosemary, which is great on this. So we'll get rid of those stems. Try to take just the leaves. Come on there, stem. And that's enough. Now we want to kind of get these, and you can sort of roll them into a ball like this. And take your chef's knife. And we're not worried about the size. We just want to mince them up sort of fine. We probably won't need all of these. I've got a little too much here, but that's OK. So now just mince it a bit. And you could certainly make this ahead, you know, even a few hours ahead. So that's fine enough. Now we'll take these and move them over here. Now we'll pay attention to this. There's a lot of great juice in here, but there's also a lot of great zest on the outside. So we're going to take this little zester and go over to our bowl. This is a microplane. And when you're zesting, you don't want to get much beyond the pith like that because then it starts to get bitter. So you want to turn your little lemon or whatever citrus you're using frequently. And this is going to really make it pop, the flavor of this citrus oil, excuse me, that's uh, in the zest. It's got a lot of flavor. And you can see it collects on the back of our microplane. And we'll just get it into the bowl and we'll set that aside. Now we want to give this a little bit of a roll and that helps to loosen the juice inside. We'll take a little strainer and we want to get the juice out of here. And this is the main component um, of our herb spritz, is this lemon. And lemon goes fabulously with things off the grill. This happens to be a nice juicy lemon. So we'll set these lemon halves aside. We've got enough juice out. Let me clean my hands a bit. And this is very simple. We'll just take 
a little fork, and now we want to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we're not trying to make a vinaigrette here. We actually want this to be broken. So I put about two tablespoons, and now I'll put a little bit of salt, like that, and of course the black pepper that I just put in there. So now just take this, give it a little mix, and then take some of your herbs, drop them in there, and that's it. Now that is what I would call a secret ingredient, because when we take this chicken off and you put this little herb spritz on top, it's really going to sing. Okay, our chicken is now cooked so we can complete the dish. I know it's cooked because if I push on it, it feels quite firm. So we'll turn our burner off. We'll take our serving plate and we're gonna arrange this nice mushroom saute. And this was just simply saute with a little shallots, garlic, I deglaze with a little white wine, put a little butter. And that's how this was constructed. Very simple recipe. And this is a great thing to put under just about any grilled item or even on top of um, a good steak. So we'll pile that up and now we'll take our chicken breast, which looks beautiful. And we're gonna just lay it right on there like that. And now we'll pay attention to this gorgeous herb spritz. And we'll just lay it on there, being pretty generous to get it around the plate. It makes a good presentation. We'll just take a little more herbs, pop it on the top. And there you have a grilled chicken breast on top of a wild mushroom saute with a tangy herb spritz. Give this one a try. The Harvest Eating community celebrates the benefits of a healthy eating lifestyle through seasonal, organic, and local foods. To view more of Chef Snow's recipe videos and to experience the Harvest Eating lifestyle, visit HarvestEating.com. Harvest Eating, four seasons, one lifestyle.